Mark Graham, you yes. know you're going to the farm next week? Yes. I heard they saw a lion on the farm. Goodness, I didn't hear that. It would be it would be so cool to see a lion. I'm not sure I'd like to meet a lion up close. Why not? Because it can be very dangerous. Only if it's hungry. Mm. I'll have to phone the farmer and ask him if it's safe for us to go. Mm. I wouldn't want one of you to be eaten by a lion, you know? One of the safari kids might be eaten by a lion. <gasps> oh no, that's awful. Lions are big and scary. What, what? I hope Matt Laura will make sure the lions aren't on the farm. What, what, what? Hey! <laughs> well, I think lions are beautiful animals. And they are one of the big five. Big five? What's that? It's the animals people most want to see. What are they? Well... There's a lion and... Tiger! No offense, We don't have tigers oh. in South Africa. <sighs> An elephant. And rhino. How many is that? Three. Okay. And... Oh, the leopard. I can't remember the last one. Buffalo. Yes, that's right. The smallest of the big five, then, are the leopards and the lions. The cats. How big are they? Let's have a look. Elephants count among the big five, even the young ones. Elephants also appear on our 50 Rand notes. Another one of the big five, Mr. Buffalo, is having a bath. He can be seen on a 100 Rand note. This peacefully grazing family are rhino. They are extremely strong animals and can become very dangerous when disturbed. They appear on the 10 rand note. And this guy is Mr. Leopard, always hiding behind trees or peering at you through twigs and leaves. He is pictured on a 200 rand note. His Majesty, Mr. Lion himself. Did you know that an adult male lion like this one weighs about 220 kilograms? Mrs. Lion is a little smaller and a very good hunter. Lions appear on our 50 Rand notes. It is easy to see why Mr. Lion is called the king of the animals. So a male lion weighs about 220 kgs. Wow, that's heavy. What do you weigh, Fancy? About 45 kgs. So a male lion weighs just under five times what you do. Whoa, five times 45. Mm. Two 45s are 90, another two are 90. 90 plus 90 are 180. 180 plus 45, mm, 190, 200, 210, 225. 225, yes it does. <laughs> oh, gee, that's heavy. Mm. But they're not that tall, only about 120 centimeters. How big is that? Well, I'm 135 centimeters. So how many centimeters is Yolandi taller than the lion? 135 minus 120 equals 15. So a lion is 15 centimeters shorter than Yolandi. Right. Show us 15 centimetres on your ruler, please, Tabo. That's 15 centimetres. Right. OK, Yolandi, please come over here. Bring the ruler with you. OK. Now turn around. So there's 15 centimetres. So the lion? is this tall. Wow! wow. Oh, but that's only when it's got awful feet on the ground. You mean shoulder height? Yes, it must be much taller when it's standing on its back legs. It's a good thing that they don't stand on their back feet too often. You know, if there are lions on the farm we're going to, maybe the farmer will let us track them. How would you know what a lion's footprints look like? It will look like a big cat. <laughs> Actually, here on the wall, I've got a poster with the different footprints. See, this is the white rhino, and this one is the buffalo, 
And this little one over here is the leopard. And this one is the lion. So oh. Fence is right. The lion and the leopard prints do look like cats. Mm -hmm. The white rhino print looks fun. It looks like a big splotch. <laughs> <laughs> How big are our footprints compared to those? I'll tell you what. I'll get some paper and some paint and we can work it out. Ufense, take off your one shoe. What? <laughs> We're going to compare your footprint to a lion's. Ah, Mavin! Yes, Mavin. Ah, how tall are you? I don't know. Why? Oh, well, because I was reading that you can't be a lion tamer if you're too short. <laughs> a lion tamer? Mm -hmm. Why would I want to be a lion tamer? Oh, Mavin, it would be a fantastic job, eh? You get to travel around the world with your lions making them do tricks. <laughs> Apart from the fact that making lions do tricks seems like a cruel idea to me. Why on earth do you think I want to travel around the world and... Ah, huh? oh, Mavin! Mavin! I mean, you, I mean, think of all the wonderful things you'd see. Like? Oh, well, like, uh... Yeah, like the pyramids and the North Pole and, uh... Did I mention the pyramids? Why do you want me to go traveling overseas? Well, because if you did, I could have the bed to myself. Hey, just get over it. I'm not going to go traveling around the world with lions. Ah, you're just selfish. Yeah, and you're silly. And you're selfish. Silly. Selfish. Silly. Selfish. Silly. Selfish. Silly. Selfish. Silly. Selfish. Silly. So this is the size of Ufensi's footprint. We can compare the area of his footprint to that of the lions. Area? Let's ask the old tree to help us. Hello, everyone. You'd like to know what area is? Well, area is the size of a surface. It's a way of measuring how big, for example, a piece of land is. We measure area using squares, so we describe area in square units. Right, so Tabo and Ufense have divided their papers up into squares of one centimeter. Now, Tabo, bring your paper over here and then just stick it over the lion's footprint. Okay. Let me help you over here. Right. About 114 squares. Okay. Now, Fencer, you come up here and do exactly the same thing with your footprint. There, that. Uh huh. Roughly, the lion's footprint is 114 square centimeters. Ofense's footprint is 119 square centimeters. So Ofense's footprint has a bigger area than that of the lion. Only just. The lion is probably as big as Ofense. Do you still want to go track it down? Oh, yes. But you must just walk in front of me. No chance. <laughs> I'm so 
don't let the lion isn't going to eat the safari kids now they know exactly what he looks like and how big he is they even know the area of his footprint so they'll know what to watch out for what 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 <laughs> we're off to the farm tomorrow but we'll see you all soon till then why don't you try to work out the area of your own footprint and compare it to those of your friends bye bye